properties of substances brittleness hardness elasticity how will you describe a glass it is a hard substance and it is transparent when you use the words hard and transparent to describe the glass what did you do you described the properties of glass so properties help us to describe a substance what are properties properties are special characteristics of that substance these characteristics help us describe the substance the words that we use like hard or soft or brittle or heavy or soluble or transparent or opaque are all properties of the substance let us study and understand the meaning of some words that we use to describe properties of a substance brittle brittle means something that crumbles or breaks into small pieces like a cookie like a brick like a rajgira vadi all these are brittle substances you know substances that are brittle break into small pieces what is the opposite of brittle look at the way these materials break they are breaking cleanly into pieces they are not forming crumbs or many tiny pieces so these substances are the opposite of brittle what is the opposite of brittle the opposite is not brittle hard is not the opposite of brittle brittle has nothing to do whether the substance is hard or soft brittle is how something breaks look at this and say whether it's brittle or not brittle not brittle not brittle 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 not brittle thus opposite of brittle is not brittle what did we just learn brittle means something that crumbles or breaks into small pieces the opposite of brittle is not brittle objects that are not brittle break apart into clean pieces they do not break into crumbs hardness hardness describes how hard a substance is can you pierce a wooden board with a plastic nail no why not because wood is harder than plastic can you pierce a cardboard with an iron nail yes why so because iron is harder than cardboard can you pierce a cotton cloth with a steel pin yes steel is harder than cotton take a knife a wooden chopping board and some cheese and an apple place the apple on the chopping board and cut it with the knife then place the cheese on the board and cut it with the knife what was easier to cut through the apple or the cheese why so because the cheese is softer than the apple where did the knife stop when you were cutting on the chopping board why so because the chopping board is harder than the knife have you seen the chopping board also getting cut while cutting vegetables no why because the chopping board is harder than the knife chopping boards are always made of hard materials like wood or plastic but wait the iron nail did go into wood when we hit it with a hammer 
Then why can't the iron knife break the chopping board? Think, think. The nail and the knife have different shapes. The nail has a very sharp point at its tip. The force with which you are pushing it in matters too. The nail has a sharp point in the front. The hammer puts great force on its head. Both these things make a great difference. What is harder than wood? Iron. So try to answer this. Can an iron screw pierce an iron block? No. But we find iron screws fitted onto iron plates in so many places. How does that happen? The screws are fitted through holes that are already drilled in the iron. The holes are drilled with special drills. The drill bit pierces into the iron and makes a hole. The drill bit is harder than iron. The drill bit is made of carbon steel which is harder than regular steel. The tip is coated with tungsten which makes it even harder. So the drill with which we make holes in iron has tungsten at its tip. The hardness of a substance is measured by how much it resists the substance being pushed in. Glass is a very hard substance. How do you think we can cut glass? We need an even harder substance than iron and tungsten. A diamond. Do you know what the hardest known substance on earth is? So a diamond is used for cutting glass. But not just any diamond will do. You need to have a diamond that has a very sharp point. Even then, the diamond just scratches the glass. Does not actually cut through the glass. You have to break the glass into two on that scratch. Then how do you cut a diamond? With another diamond. There are special diamond cutting wheels that diamond cutters use. The wheel is made of hard materials which are coated with diamond dust. The diamond is held firmly on it to scratch it deeply. Then with a hard wedge, the diamond is broken at the scratch. Watch how it is done. Do you know that almost 90% of the world's diamonds are cut in India at Surat? What did we just learn? The hardness of a substance is determined by how much it resists the substance being pushed in. To pierce a substance, you need a substance that is harder than that substance. Elasticity Elasticity is when an object can come back to its original shape. Like a rubber band can do when you pull it and then let go. The rubber band is elastic. Elasticity is when an object can come back to its original shape. What happens when you squeeze a sponge? The shape changes. What happens when you let go? 
it goes back to its original shape. The sponge is elastic too. Elasticity is when an object can come back to its original shape. What materials do you know that are elastic? Rubber is elastic. Metals are elastic too. But remember that all these elastic materials are elastic up to a certain limit. If you pull a rubber band too much, it will break. Elasticity is when an object can come back to its original shape. All objects do not go back to their original shape when you change it. Can you think of objects that just let you change their shape? Does this look familiar to you? It's modeling clay. When you play with modeling clay, you mold it into different shapes. When you mold it, does it go back to its original shape? No, it stays that way. So there is no elasticity here. So clay is not elastic. What is the opposite of elastic? It's plastic. Change of shape means change of form. When the form changes, we call it deformation. Depending on whether the object can go back to its original shape or not, the deformation can be plastic or elastic. When the rubber band breaks after stretching too much, it cannot go back to its original shape. So this is a plastic deformation. Even with metals, you can bend them to some extent where they can snap back. This is an elastic deformation. If you bend it too much, it may not come back to its original shape. This is a plastic deformation. Not coming back to original shape is plastic deformation. It is not necessary for the object to break. What did we just learn? Elasticity is when an object can come back to its original shape. Elastic deformation is a change in shape from where the object can come back to its original shape. The opposite of elastic deformation is plastic deformation.